Uh, so, uh, students, for today we are going to do a totally in a different format our lesson. So you have everyone you, uh, on your desks, you have the PC, a uh, person computer. And uh, I will tell you what we will do with our computers. Uh, today, lesson will be totally using the technology. Technology, it means that uh, we will not use our pens, pencils, or notebooks. We will do uh, the task only on computers, okay? So, uh, briefly and shortly, I will explain you. Uh, we will do some writing activities uh, on PC using the word processing tool and Google Translator. But uh, first of all, I want to ask uh, if anyone has problem with the typing or with the computer. Nobody has? Okay, it's great. It will help you to do the today's task. So, uh, writing. Uh, writing, we will do uh, using first with the uh, word processing tool. Uh, for, for starting, before starting, I want to, let's say, uh, review shortly what kind of tenses we will use in our writing form. Uh, first, we will use the present form. Everybody knows, remember, that we studied uh, previously the present simple, right? Present simple for repeating actions. Then, present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous for actions that are happening now. And then we will use present perfect, present perfect, and past simple. Past simple. All these four uh, tenses that we will need in our writing activity. So, for just uh, memorizing, I want to do it again, write the formula of all these four uh, tenses for you. Uh, first, present simple, uh, help me to remind. Yes, subject plus verb plus object. Here, subject plus to be plus verb. ing plus object. The present perfect subject have has plus verb from the third column if it's a regular verb and then ed plus object and the last one past simple yes subject plus verb uh, second column or plus ed and plus object okay great so let's start our activity please open the computers and uh, please click on the icon where it's written the word okay everybody opened uh, now I have a template starting a letter to a friend. I'm going to write and you should follow me, uh, copy what I'm writing on, from the project on your uh, PC document and uh, just what I'm writing, you should copy the same. I'm, I'm going to write a letter to my friend, Leah. So, dear Leah, how are you? I'm writing to you from New York, I have been. So, who can tell me what kind of uh, tenses I have used so far from here? Yes, how are you is a present simple. I'm writing as a present continuous. I have been is a present perfect. Okay? Please copy this and we will continue. Okay, you copy it. Let's do and continue together. Okay, I have been uh, here for two weeks and I... I have visited already four places like amusement park and amusement park museums Oh, okay, um, let me show you what interesting tool we have on our uh, word processing tool. For example, if I have a mistake, for example, here I have a mistake with a museum. Uh, word processing tool also helps you to correct it automatically. If I have incorrect word, it underlines the red line and I put, uh, I press on the right button on my mouse and I can see the right uh, choices that the word processing tool gives me. I click it and I have the right one corrected automatically here. Museums, the 
Zaur Park and etc. etc. Okay. So have you uh, finished with the copying? Okay. Now uh, I have used it here three different uh, tenses: present continuous, present simple, and present perfect. Let's use the past simple. Uh, okay. Uh, what I'm going to give, uh, what kind of information I'm going to give to my friend. Uh, I came here uh, two weeks ago and uh, I and uh, my family, family uh, had a very long trip from uh, to America. Okay. It took about uh, let's say 11, 11 hours. Hours. Okay. We have uh, already studied that the hour H is not pronounced here. Of course we can uh, check uh, here the pronunciation and if anybody doesn't know any words or uh, if you have any words that you don't know the pronunciation uh, we can open in internet a Google translator everybody knows how to use the translator uh, let's uh, uh, use this uh, tool for uh, translation and for uh, the pronunciation of the word let's write here the word hour and we can see in Russian what it's uh, translation and can click here the loud uh, speaker icon and it can uh, give us the pronunciation. Let's uh, listen. Hour. Yes. Hour. You can see here the transcription. Hour. H is not pronounced. And I'm going to use here uh, some kind of words that you don't know the, uh, trans uh, the, the uh, transcription, the pronunciation. I I'll ask you to use the uh, Google Translator to translate it and to pronounce for yourself. Let's see what kind of words I'm going to use. First, accept. Then, uh, next word, care. Uh, then, uh, let's say what kind of words. Uh, pay attention. Can you please take uh, the take check it pronunciation and the translation in the uh, Google Translator yourself? Okay, have you done? Let's continue copying. Uh, 